Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. We are going to wait just a couple of minutes for the rest of the people to come to the class. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Friday and it's the last class of this week, of course. Next week, we have class on Monday, definitely. So we're going to start. We're going to check, first of all, as usual, the platform. Let me just go there. Okay. So this is the class for today. So remember that here below, this is the question for you to participate. And also remember that we need to do the activity, the homework 1.9. So it's going to be just to check the correct meaning of the words that are there. That is everything. So, and now we're going to check the attendance. Only a few today, I believe. Yeah, Friday sometimes are difficult, but let's wait for everybody to to join the class tonight. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. It's not here. Right? Okay. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Good. Okay. Osmin Bayer Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. 
Ooh, okay. Just a few by now. I hope everybody can join. I know that there are some parts in San Salvador that they do not have internet. So let's see how it's going on. Okay, so we're gonna start the class of today. Let me just change something here. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Um, today I have a meeting in the morning. Okay. And the people is, uh, start talking about many terms. And I, I feel very good because these days we are uh, talking about these terms, e-commerce, B2B, and also I, I, feel, I feel very good. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, that is very good. Perfect, Susana. It's, it's good that you share your experience that you have at work and then, yeah. Uh, you know, this, the, the good thing about these classes is that it's not just practicing this, but also to learn some other things and have the, the chance to learn not only English grammar, vocabulary, but many other things that can help us, okay? Yes, it's very, it's very nice. I feel very good with that. Very good, perfect. We're happy here, nice, we're with you. <laughs> okay, we're going to start the class and we're gonna continue, of course. So it says steps to start a business online, of course. So these are like a little guide, but we're going to check more in deep in some readings that we're going to check today. So of course, the number one is to come up with an idea. That is the most basic, right? So you have to think about an idea. Then maybe the step number two, pick a business name. So a name that is nice, right? That everybody sees the name and, and think about your product. Step number three, determine what type of entity you'll be. There are many kinds of companies. What kind of company you might have? Step number four, register your business and receive your, well, this is for the United States, but here is going to be like, go to the ministry and, and get everything, all the papers that you need for taxes, for, um, for the brand, you know, everything. And step number five, get business insurance. That is important. And not only in the US, but here. Uh, create a website to start selling. Oh, that is. If you are going to run a business online, definitely like something that we need to do. Creating a marketing strategy so you can reach some. So this is like very basic, but we're going to go and check, uh, for first of all, some ideas. It says this one, I, I found it kind of interesting. 26 best online business ideas for 2022. So let's start reading, of course. Osmin, he told me he was he wanted to be the first one. Okay, let's see. Okay, teacher. Okay. Want to join the online workforce? Do you dream job? Or maybe just work from home? Why there are plenty of demand for online workers today break and can be in immediate even if even if you you research that the top of line business ideas and pick your best match, you still might not know how to get hurt. Uh, or what to expect. To have, good. Uh -huh. Go ahead, you, continue. See, yeah. Right. To help you find in, in, in a way, in a way of business idea for a digital career, we will comply a list of inspire you. But before we do, dive into the best online uh, business idea. Let's talk a little about how to find the right path for you. Very good, thank you, Osmin. So this is a little introduction. It says, want to join the online workforce, do your dream job, or maybe just work from home? 
Okay, let's check some vocabulary. Join, what is join? I know that you know, but tell me in English. What is join? Join, join, join. When you are happy, make, make something when you're doing that. Mm, that Add is to enjoy. Work together. Ah, oh, okay. Add to, to, to work team. in group, maybe. Very good. So mm -hmm. join is when you, you want to be part of a team, of a group, or put together something, right? Can you say, can you say assemble? Assemble, yeah. Assemble. Okay. Avengers, mm -hmm. assemble. Assemble. Uh, I remember. <laughs> I, <that>. I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, sometimes when we change job, when we change country, when we change something in our life, sometimes we are thinking, right? What am I going to do? So sometimes we we want to find a path, right? So uh, here is something very interesting. Do your dream job. I have a question for you. What is your dream job? Uh -huh. Tell me, share with me. My, my dream job uh, was uh, be um, uh, can I say? a bio, biologa. Biologist, really? Yes. Yeah, it was not a straight <laughs> dream. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I mean, maybe you cannot be biologist, or maybe you can. I mean, you have time, of course. But if you cannot do that because you have a job and you have your kids and you have so many things to do and responsibilities, sometimes that happens. Responsibilities are the one that stop us to study more. But you can do some study by yourself, learn about yeah. plants. When I was graduate, graduate from high school, I my dream was be a, being a bio, biology biology biologa or biologist 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 but I say oh in in that in that in that country maybe I I will I won't have many opportunities to work and I quit <laughs> I quit in my dream of my dream <laughs> and I study another thing yeah that happens that happens but well you still have time if you have the chance and if you don't have the chance you can still study by yourself something but another dream is um, it's not a job but okay yeah why, why not why not uh, working uh, talking in English I don't know <laughs> yeah you know yeah that you are closer to that one. I mean, now yeah, you're speaking why, in English. Why not? <laughs> and sometimes we never know. We never yeah. know. The world is changing and sometimes comes with more opportunities. Very good, Rose. Anybody else wants to share your dream job? Uh -huh. What is your dream job? My dream job, teacher. Mm -hmm. My dream job is work my farm, uh, but I speak well English. This is my dream. Okay, but you are getting into that one. That's very good. So if you continue, definitely, maybe in the future, you know, we are going to have the chance. So there are many, many jobs in English. And the good thing is that nowadays you can work from home. So it's going to be nice. I mean, there are many things that you can do. Good, that's me. Anybody else wants to share your dream job? In my case, teacher, um, my dream job is related to the teaching. Teach. A teaching, um, okay. Yes, teaching and learning too. <laughs> um, because I enjoy to share knowledge and I enjoy to learn. I, in my mind, when I, what do you say? When, in my, in my dream, when I, when I become, Okay. I will become. <laughs> uh, I, I, I see now. Uh, 
uh, in my work related to teaching and learning. Okay, very good. That mm -hmm. is good. You know, actually, that is so true. I really like to teach, and it's a double purpose because, for example, when I teach at the university, but not English, other subjects, it's because of that, because I want to learn, update myself, right? So there is new information, new techniques, new methodologies, uh, and then you, you learn again and also to transmit the knowledge. Uh, do you remember that uh, the last uh, module I was telling you that this is not my job, I, I'm not a teacher. I work for, yeah. for Google and it's a different thing, but I really love to teach. So that's why I'm here. I mean, I know that I can go out with my friends at night and things like that, but I prefer to be here with you. And it's something very nice because I get to know interesting people and also to transmit some knowledge. So that is yeah. a very nice thing, good. Well, but you can do that one also. Actually, I mean, the universities, if you take a course or if you have a master's degree, that's it. You can do it. It's going to be just that what you need. Good. Anybody else just wants to share the, your dream job? A dancer. I don't know. Anything can happen. <laughs> OK. So let's continue. It says, or maybe just for uh, just work from home. Well, there's plenty of demand on online workers today breaking, it can be intimidating. So that is true. Sometimes to change, sometimes is a big challenge, right? But if you never do it, I mean, you will never do it. So you need to dare do the change. Even if you research the top online business ideas and picked your best match, you still might not know how to get started or what to expect. To help you find innovative business idea for a digital career, we're compiled a list of, to inspire you. Maybe that is a, a very big word, inspiration, inspire. Um, yeah, I mean, you need to be happy, right? Doing what you do. So that is very important. But before we dive into the best online business idea, let's talk a little about, about how to find the right path for you. Uh, what is DIE? Do you remember? What is DIE? DIE. Oh my God, DIE is when you... Uh, how can I say it? When you, when you, oh my God, when you are, when you make a, oh my God, diving, diving is when, how do you say, the el buzo is with the, is ah, in is, the, yeah. oh my God, I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> I have the idea, but I, I don't know how can I can explain. Or do you imagine? Imagine. Mm -hmm. It's not imagine. Uh, dive is, is like explore, teacher. It can be explored. Yeah, in this situation, it's very similar to explore to more to get more knowledge about something. It dive is like a tabuseo, teacher. Uh, yeah, scuba diving. That is the name of that one. Scuba diving and dive is like submerge. Yeah, when you yeah. get into the water. <laughs> yeah, so that is to, to dive to go into yeah. deep. So how do, do you say navegar? Sail. Okay. Sail. Yeah. Okay. Then it says how to find online business ideas for you. Uh, this is uh, more of the introduction. Anna Salmi, could you please read the first and second paragraph? You, your success in the whatever, whatever job you choose will depend on your skills and talent. And your happiness will depend on what that job entails. For starters, if you are already a skilled lover, you may be able to seamlessly migrate your job from offline to online. Specialized jobs like teacher, executive assistant, translator, book bookkeeper or personal shopper or have online counterparts. Depending on your experience and credentials, you may even have an advantage over your 
your online competition from day one. What did you understand on this one, Anasalmi? And the, the, the shoes, the job depend the, the how the, each person is prepared with okay. the skills and talent and the experience, the knowledge, but depending the different factors, but require pre prepare. Very good, perfect. That is very interesting. So it says your success in whatever job you choose will depend on your skills and talent. So definitely, right? So what can I do? That is one of the questions that we need to ask ourselves. And your happiness. So the two things are important. I know in El Salvador is difficult, right? Sometimes you really would like to do something else, but sometimes, for example, I really like music and I play in a band, you know, but I can't live for that. I mean, it's, they pay just a few bucks and I do it just because I like it. But I do it as a hobby, but I cannot have a job as that one. Here in El Salvador is like that. You need to look about your skills and talents, what you can do and try to get a good job, right? If you're happy, oh, that is an extra one. But it should be that way. You should be happy. That is the way it should be. The, the optimal way is that one, right? So if you're happy and you have a nice job where you are skilled and talented, you're done. That's nice. Good. So it says for starters, if, you, if you're already a skilled laborer, you may be able to seamlessly migrate your job from offline to online. Uh, so skilled laborer is very important. So you, you have some talents on that kind of situation, right? Specialized jobs like teacher, executive assistant, translator, bookkeeper, or personal shopper, all have online counterpart. So if you have a job that is specialized, you can get a, a job online or a business online. Uh, bookkeeper, do you remember what is a bookkeeper? Accountant teacher. Accountant, that is it. It's a synonym of accountant. Good. So depending on your experience and credentials, you may even have an advantage over your online competitions from day one. So sometimes how that happens because you have experience in some other areas, you can bring that to the new business and you can be very good into that one. The next one is for a rose. Okay. So before you look at new innovative business ideas online, your first step should be seeing if you can shift your current job online. Of course, most, most professions still need to be handled on site, but in the wake of all the pandemic lockdowns, you might be surprised at what you can do online. Start by hitting the job boards listed below, specifically for your field of expertise. What did you understand on this one? Um, I think here are talking about uh, we have to to look for innovative ideas on business. Uh, after the pandemic, many people explore. It's um, many people. Um, how can I say many people do things that they uh, don't know that can do and made the the an entrepreneur business. And some of them continue now, nowadays. And that say, you might surprise what you can do. Um, especially in, in your file of expertise. Maybe if I think that I am not good at doing a bakery, I'm going to do many, many, many what many desserts and maybe it's it's my it's my potential 
Okay, very good. Yeah, that is it. I mean, you need to think about your expertise, your uh, skills and talents, and then look about what you can do. Uh, yeah, definitely everything that you said was uh, nice. The next one is for Sandra Gladys. Could you please? Hello, Sandra Gladys, are you here? Hi, teacher. Oh, yeah. Could you please read, of course? Of course, it's your online guidance. Is that well, you have to ask yourself is which online is really necessary? Uh, maybe you like working directly with people, or maybe you prefer of oh, lead oh, methods of attracting new business. Consider about your personal taste and the online demand for your service before making a decision to open your off offline business. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Nothing. I I I understand only uh, uh, for new business uh, are metal attractive and and uh, the testy uh, uh, service service uh, uh, for them uh, for business. Okay, very good. Yeah, you in also here. go ahead. And so in in is a recommendation that be prudent that don't change immediately the 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 model the online if you work is good with the model um, offline. It try, but it, but it's necessary to be prudent. Okay, very good. Yeah, actually, that is a good tip. Uh, I mean, you need to think what, many things, right? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What's meaning only online? Online is like the class is online. I mean, all over the internet. Online, similar, similar online. Uh, Online is, uh, when, online? online is when you are working or doing something on the internet. Working for home, home at home? It may online. be, but using the internet, that is important. Offline means that you do things in a store, in a physical store, you work with people. So that is another thing that you need to consider here, says that if you really like to work with people, maybe online is not good for you. Yeah, okay. Good. And yeah, Anna Selmi is right. Switching is is kind of something that we need to consider. Okay, Walter, could you please read this one? Okay. If you're choosing a brand new carousel that's another story. The choices in this carousel is always and filled with and um, Obstacle. Mm -hmm. Obstacle. And in quality, uncertainty. Uncertainty. Okay. Thank you. Whatever that you are the price you pay for getting the job, uh, you want especially uh, why the flexibility on life work or during your dream job. If you aren't not sure. Uh, where to start asking yourself and some interpretive questions. Introspective questions. Okay, until there. Good, thank you. So yeah, you need you need to know that it's not going to be easy, right? There are some obstacles, there are some challenges, but if you really want to, okay, you can do it. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself. What am I good at? 
What skills, knowledge, and natural talents do I possess that can be used to make money? So that is a very important question. Okay, what can I do very well? So you can get some money with that one. What do I enjoy doing? So this is something that is not what you are good at, but what are you happy doing? What task can I do comfortably all day, every day? So the other one also is important. What resources do I have at my disposal? I mean, if you have a house, you can get a physical store, right? Or like a warehouse, HD camera, Photoshop license, popular social media accounts, anything like that. How much startup funds do I have? How much money do I have? So definitely that is important if you are going to get into this one. And then it says, uh, let's see, uh, Carla, could you please read the next paragraph? Okay, the next step is finding out this how viable each career path parts. The best way to begin is researching the business idea you like online. I will start in point are the job boards that card specific, specifically to online work. <sighs> Browse the size below to see the expectations, salaries, and demand for your the job you're interested in. Okay, very good. So, yeah, that is fine. Uh, what did you okay. understand on this one? Thank you. Okay. So this is like more getting ideas on what you want to do, right? So the other three, uh, this one is for Wilfredo. Okay. Joe Space. Joe Space. Excuse me, would you repeat? Yeah, job special. Job special. Okay. An international job board specializing in development, designing, and other solutions for tech brand like content creation and customer service. Please continue. Uh, may I continue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, dynamite jobs. Dynamite. Dynamite. Dynamite job. A good resource for finding remote jobs in traditional fields like engineering, finance, financing, and human resource. Um, link, uh, how do you pronounce the, the, the next one? Uh, that is LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Um, okay. LinkedIn jobs. The job board work at LinkedIn has a wide range and lots of, of variety. Variety. Closing, excuse me? Variety. Variety. Plus, it can even access the skills in your profile for recommendation. Very good, perfect. So these are like three ways for you to find jobs. So for example, job special means that um, it's like uh, something like a board specializing in development, design, other solutions to tech brands. So nowadays, if you are in Facebook or Instagram, or uh, depending on what you are researching, you are going to see that there are many jobs offering like that. Uh, if you can program, if you know about Apache or any other things, please call us and we're going to hire you. Dynamic jobs are to find remote jobs in traditional fields like engineering, financing, HR. So the first one is for technology. The second one are like more traditional jobs. And the LinkedIn, you know what is LinkedIn, right? It's the social media. So it's uh, where you uh, upload your profile. And then some people, they actually, that works. I mean, for me, Sometimes they contact me. Hey, would you like to change your job? Would you like more money? Would you like, and sometimes I'm interested in go to the interviews and I say, thanks, but no, I'm happy where am I? So, so it works. LinkedIn is a very nice, that is like the professional uh, social media, right? And there are many good things. There are some, uh, some like, uh, how can I say, 
news or people sharing things there. Susana, could you please read the next one? Okay. You won't find all online business ideas represent on the job boards. However, for example, if you want to start any commerce website or boil an influencer brand from scratch, you won't normally find those postings. Your best bet then is to check out your competitors. Go to their sites and see what the day today of the job entails. Okay, very good. So this is like um, the last part of the introduction, right? So it's like uh, examples on how to start e-commerce websites. Uh, I mean, you need to decide what will be the right path online for you. Um, we're gonna go until here. How to find your business niche. Um, we're gonna look at that one because this is very large actually. Okay, oh, oh my goodness. What happens? Oh, it's a, an advertisement, okay. Okay, so the best online businesses ideas. So the first one is e-commerce, selling goods online. And these are some examples, okay? So uh, here we can have investment capital. So, so that is something like we need, some things that we need to think about it. Cost of supplies, cost of the website. What will be the money that you need to put into the business? Necessary resources like trade tools, skill set, expertise in whatever you're making. Okay, so let's read about this one. Wendy, could you please read the first one? Bonsoir, Wendy. I guess it's not available. Lourdes, could you please read this one? Okay. Uh, first. Yes, okay. Please. First, let's start with one of the more obvious online business ideas. Selling your own products, art, food, and crafts. If you have created a genius new product of your painter, fashion, or jewelry designer, woodworker, or even chef, you can easily sell what you make online. The hard part is knowing how to make something. After that, all you need is time, a website and an understanding of how to ship your products. A professional looking website can be the key to success for new e-commerce business. So make sure your website and all your customer facing profiles look top notch. Please continue. Okay. Because they're your own goods, you can modify them to fit whatever niche is available. For example, a lot of people sell homemade jewelry, but very few sell homemade banana lockets with a tiny monkey monkey is inside. If you understand your niche, you'll be able able, able. to thank you able to offer the products they want but can find elsewhere. Good. Elsewhere. What did you understand on this one, Lourdes? Um, in that paragraph, uh, talk about the the importance of websites and the the importance about a. Uh, the website understanding uh, and chip the product and in the in the finally of first paragraph say a professional looking website can be the key to success uh, 
because uh, explain about the um, the companies have a a website and the the commercial is in the internet um, the companies have a website and and if the companies have a good website the the customer increasing and right. in the second and the second paragraph um, uh, is talk about the the self about um, homemade or a um, if if you if you understand about the niche or i don't know if the same a uh, mar target market target yeah okay if you understand your target market for example if more easy about how to offer the products in the website definitely that is easier so yes this is like the most common idea for an online business to to sell things online right in general many things two things whatever needs uh, to be sold very good perfect and it says tips for breaking in uh, wendy could you please read this one okay tips for breaking in to start you might want to begin selling on a site like Etsy, a marketplace for homemade good. Once you have a stable following of loyal customer, you can open your own website for more control and to create a consistent brand for your business. When you're ready to scale up your operation, keep it out Keep on eyes on how much you pay for supplies and raw ingredients. When you're using a lot, see, see if, if you can get a price break by, by involved. Very good, perfect. What did you understand on this one? So you might want to begin selling Maybe uh, when you have a business, you can open the website for, you can uh, have a control uh, of your, your customer and your product. Because uh, you can, um, uh, you can, can have a control of the publication, maybe uh, price and maybe uh, the product. Okay. Uh, yes, those are like tips for breaking in. So tips for you to start. Uh, so it says that sometimes you can start in other website and then you do your own, your own one. <laughs> this is a good one. Number two, social media influencer. Um, <laughs> that's nice uh, investment capital is low not that much necessary resources successful social media account skill set social media skills knowing that what to post and how often what to say in comments etc okay this one is going to be for um let's see Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Okay, Pamela, could you please help us with this one? Hello, Pamela. Sorry? Okay, could you please read these two paragraphs? 
Okay. A lot of people dream about being a social media influencer without understanding the word aspect. It's one thing to use social media for fun. It's another to use to use it as your job. You may have a natural talent for trending, but when you do it professionally, there are also technical aspects like researching what time periods have the highest traffic per platform, choosing which hashtag to use and knowing the right responses for a variety of different comments. If you think you got, you got those down, you can monetize your social media success by accepting the sponsor or promotion their product. However, having a strong connection with your niche is essential. You are only attract a sponsor who are trying to, reset, re, to reach your follower group. So they're more specialized, specialized they are the better. Specialized. Okay, what do you understand on this one? Uh, well, what kind of people have a lot of followers and sometimes decide to um, monetize it. So monetize. Well, monetize. Um, maybe they need to work about the marketing that they work to have a successful um, job. Very good, interesting. So it's not only to have a big social media followers, but also to understand what to do, what products do you sell, what is the best time for you to do this kind of things. Good. Tips for breaking in. Uh, let's see. Sulma, could you please read this one? Hello, Sulma. My goodness, everybody's having coffee right now. Uh, Sandra Romero. Hello, teacher. Tips for breaking in. Okay. Breaking in into the influencer profession is hard, and you likely need a successful social media account first before you start making money and receive free gifts. Like the other online businesses ideas, it's best to focus on a single niche. Unify your posts with a specific theme and make sure you are using the social media platform that your target audience prefers. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Um, if we have an influencer, we need to know what kind of public we are going to have. And with this information, we can do maybe raffles or giveaways. It depends on the customers that we are going to have with this kind of Answers. Very good. That was so perfect. Good. Number three says writer and blogger. Mm, okay, that is another interesting. So investment capital, nothing at all. Necessary resources, internet, right? In a computer. Skill set, writing and editorial skills, search on uh, engine optimization. So yeah, that is something that is not that easy to be honest with you. Okay, so this one is going to be for Adriana. Okay, content creators create the blog, articles, books, and ebooks, and website copy that we all read on a daily basis. This job is the spiritual successor to print journaling of the past and, uh, and as such, release Relies. on the realize, thank you, realize on the same skill set. Bloggers create this content for their own website in order to grow traffic, eventually monetize their blog through things like affiliate links, sponsored or guided and consultation. Continue. Yes, please. Yes, please. The main problem be becoming a professional is writing ability and writing ability if you can write something that people enjoy reading now to get your foot in the door where whoever 
to amazing your sources, maximize. you also want once my to my smile. Your sauce, your sauces. You'll you'll also want to learn techniques for um, C SEO or SEO or how to get articles or website to appear here and Hi share and give what? Hi up. Hi up. Mm -hmm. Hi up. Each engine results like Google. As always, it helps to focus on a specific niche. You can special special specialist specialize in certain topic. Specialize in certain I I e advise industrial news and the the I why how to certain wearing styles. I e more dry legal copy. What did you understand on this one, Ajan? Um, this part was mentioned about is about that um, blowers or radiators and that rating about um, about about and about a, a, the website or or another other information is, is the um, topic design topic specific uh -huh. okay, about the business. Okay, nice. thank you. So bloggers, yeah, that is something that, uh, well, if you are kind of a, a journalist, that is something for you. I mean, um, but you need to be very good by by typing, by having stories, or depending on the, on the kind of blog that you would like to create, of course. The next one is for Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo. Okay. Hello, teacher. Oh, yeah. Could you please uh, reactivate the el, el, ah, okay. el microphone? Don't worry. Go ahead, please. Yes. And the building. A building, yeah. Okay. Uh, a building, a uh, suicide block, take a uh, really uh, low time. So keep that in my, if you want to bow to bow, build como se, build a only biz, business okay. big business big business as as a friendly which usually new new a portfolio before you start apply with apply, up, apply with right right up some some uh, samples specific for the nature you want or do some pro bono work so you have a business reference uh, if you're planning to read online connected right, right con right online con contact study on hope shirt uh, algorithm algorithm Work so you, so you can improve it. You seal improve. Okay, what did you understand? Improve you seal SEO seal. So, what did you understand on this one? Mm, okay, it's not possible. Okay, uh, yeah, this is our like tips for you to to start your blog. And uh, this is something uh, this is something that yes I really want to check. Do you know what is pro bono? A pro bono work. What is that? You don't receive pay? Yeah, you don't get any money. It's for free. You gain only the experience, right? 
So that is pro bono. Good. Bono is we, bono, teacher? Bono is bono? I mean, yes. the pronunciation, yes, bono. Pro bono. Pro bono. Okay. The beans, the beans. Okay. So number four, videographer or photographer. The investment capital varies depending on the scope of the project. Cameras are expensive. Necessary resources, HD camera, camera accessories like boom, mic, lights, editing software. Skill set, film making and film editing. Okay, so this one is going to be for Jose Ernesto. My teacher, could you repeat, please? Uh, could you please read uh, the two paragraphs there? Um, the internet loves videos from cats to comedy sketch to new clips. Someone with a good eye who knows how to put a film together can make a lot of money creating content for brands who need it. From social media posts to product videos. The downside is expenses. First and foremost, you usually need your own film equipment, which certainly isn't cheap. Ambitious projects also require hiring a film crew, potentially with professional actors, not to mention additional fees like studio space or props. Very good. What did you understand on this one? I understand if you want to create your own your own content, uh, you need to you need to to I forget the word teacher. Con uh, consider you are you to consider uh, what do do you need for uh, to fulfill uh, your your project and you need a uh, a lot of money to invest in a real proposed to to go ahead in in this case that is so true yeah it's not that easy because you need to not only have money for the cameras and all the equipment but also you need to be good at it right so not only to take the pictures i mean sometimes you take the consideration of the lights uh, illumination in general uh, everything uh, also but for editing the project so yeah this one yes, i yes. guess is something that it, it needs some mm -hmm. and maybe uh, you need to specialize in some skills so true like the software that you need for editing definitely perfect good thank you ophelia could you please read tips for breaking in hello teacher hello <laughs> I I this for bre breaking in. I to has a star is helpful to marking a read or you base board. I this at s you for 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 I with you portfolio. You can show a two post positive a client respect a client a to see is if a two mark I there is I hosting I will connect I wish you nick nicks wants to do so many pro Bonus board for Bucine reference. Okay, very good. So these are like the four more common ideas for, let's say, a um, a work online, a business online. Okay, uh, let me just check, and we're going to check. Yeah, this is good. Okay, we're going to check the attendance for first of all, and then we're gonna do the other part. So Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdamez, Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Present. Okay. Ana, Selmi, Chavez. Good. Carmen, Jasmine, Lopez, Martinez. Gloria, Elizabeth, Linares, Galdamez. 
Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Está para allá arriba iba el mono, pero, pero iba corriendo para la ocha. Le... Running. That's not good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. All right. So we are going to continue. So we're going to continue with uh, two videos. Remember, uh, we're going to watch the video and then you are going to provide feedback on what did you understand on this one, okay? Uh, so we can discuss. Let's see how it goes. Let's move this, okay, here we go.
What did you get from the video? Now is your time. And teacher, the video show the social form of selling online, show the many successful brands uh, with, with Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Alibaba, uh, I think that we are in the digital age and I think we are we are fortunate to see the evolution of, of social network and the connection to the internet because the internet doing um, doing nice uh, nice business online. Very good, very interesting. Yeah, that is true. So they are growing. Now they're monsters, but in the past they were babies trying to get into the business. And now, I mean, these companies are amazing. Good, perfect. Thank you. Any other comments? Um, the, the video, the video teacher describing uh, websites. Websites are different company around around work. Very good. Largest companies of online, right? E-commerce companies, let's say. Very good. Any other? That's in, it's interesting. I'm sorry. In, sorry, Susie. That's interesting that the different sectors um, and there are companies in the different business, in the entertainment, retail, service, and they are very successful in the e-commerce modeling okay. in their business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So there are many, it's very interesting what you say. I mean, there are companies that maybe we never heard about Groupon, for example, but Groupon is, is a huge thing. So very good. Any other? Mm -hmm. Teacher, I think that many business that are new in this time, and I think they are the first because they have a good strategy for sales and, um, and maintain the, the quality, quantity, the, the service. That is very important, not only the quantity, but the quality. So yeah, that's why they are the huge companies they are right now. Uh, Wilfredo was going to say something. Uh, yes, teacher. 
um, I, I, uh, I guess that it is, it is an inter interesting option to get some product by online. And, but I, I guess that before, before pandemic, um, maybe could be, couldn't be the, the best option. But during, during and after pandemic, um, um, business online, uh, we can, I can, I could see some, uh, the, the, the increase, the, the option to get some product by, by online. And for example, um, food, you can call some restaurant by online and many, many companies or, or are, uh, how I can say you, uh, for example, Hugo or, or delivery. We can get we can get more option to get some flow uh, uh, talking about food, but then another another thing uh, we can we can get some option to to get it. That is so true. I mean nowadays online there are a lot of options. I mean, and uh, yeah, you can get many things. I was checking, for example, uh, I didn't know, but a few days ago, I was just checking that in Google, and you can see that there are many things that you can get, not only food, but also, for example, tickets for concerts. If you want to go on vacations, there are places there for doctors, or uh, if you want to send something to other person, or, uh, I mean, a lot of things. So nowadays, online businesses is something that is very, very good. Any other? Okay. These companies make your life more easy. They make life easier. That is so true. So it's good for us and it's good for them, right? Because they get money. And uh, well, actually, I'm talking about money. Did you see about Walmart? The revenue was $514 billion. My goodness. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, teacher I share with you that now I listen in a, a spot of the radio that one hospital uh, do, do, it, do it appoint medical appointment with with uh, with a uh, with a team for example and it's very easy now to know only this brand. There are other services that now is online, the appointment. For example, uh, the, the medical appointment. That is true. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can get anything. I mean, anything you can get it online. If you go and research and research properly, you will find that you can get books, you can get people to help you with the homework, you can get many, many things. We need to be creative for find uh, our business, successful business. That is it. I mean, I was reading that in, in Spain, maybe here is not, it's not something that is going to be successful, but in Spain, there is a girl that she has making a lot of money. And what she does is that she go to your house and she sleeps with you, but they, she hugs you. She is, is because you feel alone and she's with you there, just not to be alone. And that's it. She charges you just to be there with you. And that's it. So, I mean, maybe here is not a good idea, right? Because it's dangerous. But depending where you are and the needs, you can check into that one. Okay, so this is uh, similar to the other one, is like the best platforms, e-commerce platform. But this is with, with somebody speaking. So let's listen to this one, okay? Then you are going to tell me what you understood. E-commerce platforms and comparing the pros and the cons of each of them. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one of these you should use to build your online store. But stick around till the end of the video because I have the hookup, I have special discounted prices for all these platforms that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And at the end of this video, 
I'll announce the winner, what I personally think is the best e-commerce platform right now. And right now is the perfect time to start an online store. Last year, there was over $800 billion in e-commerce sales. And because of everything that's been happening, e-commerce sales have been growing like crazy. Last year, they grew by 40%. They went from 12% two years ago to 16% last year, and they're going to keep growing. The thing that's really interesting about the statistic is there's still so much room for e-commerce to grow. So if you think e-commerce is the future, this is the perfect time to build an online store. So let's start with Shopify. Let's go over the pros and the cons. And this is probably the most popular e-commerce platform for successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. Now, this isn't overall the most popular platform. We'll be talking about WooCommerce later, which is actually the most popular platform, but Shopify seems to be the most popular platform amongst successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. A lot of my friends, a lot of the people that I know in this space, 99% of them are using Shopify to build their own online store. And there's a lot of really good reasons for that. One of which is that it's built from the ground up with e-commerce in mind. Unlike some of the other platforms we'll be talking about later, from the beginning, Shopify was about selling things online. They also have a ton of apps, plugins, and integrations, so it makes it really easy if you wanna connect other services, or if there's something that Shopify doesn't have out of the box, you can add an app or some kind of integration and pretty much get your store to do just about anything you want. They also have beautiful templates and it's really quick and easy to set up. In fact, I did a video where I set up a Shopify store in just four minutes. Now. There are some pretty big cons with Shopify as well. The biggest one being at $29.99 a month, it's a little bit pricey. Now this price is actually pretty standard for professional e-commerce platforms, but there are cheaper options later in this video that we're gonna be talking about. But one of the good things about Shopify is they do have a 14 day free trial. I'll put a link up here and down below to that. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, stay tuned. We'll be talking about WooCommerce in, in just a few minutes. But next up is Squarespace. And Squarespace is great if you wanna build a beautiful website, but it's not the best website for creating an online store. Now, if you are a band or a podcast and an online store is not the main feature of your website, then Squarespace might be a really good option. But from the ground up, Squarespace was built to make beautiful websites, not so much for their e-commerce functionality. So if you are looking to be a professional e-commerce seller, I would stay away from Squarespace. Next up is GoDaddy and do not use GoDaddy to build your e-commerce website. It is overpriced and honestly, I think they just trick a lot of people. It's a good place to go buy a domain name, but I think they trick a lot of people to upgrade and host a website with them and then host their e-commerce site with them. Do not go with GoDaddy for your online store. Wix is another one of those websites I highly recommend avoiding. It's not built for e-commerce. Yes, they added an e-commerce functionality to it and it's, it's a good, Website builder, if you wanna build a general website, I actually think there's better options out there, but it's okay. And it seems like a lot of middle-aged people tend to get tricked into using this to build their website and add on e-commerce functionality. Do not go with Wix. Big Cartel is another platform a lot of people are talking about. And the big pro with Big Cartel is it's free. Now, that's the only really big pro in my opinion. And something to keep in mind, it's free for the first five products that you add. And Big Cartel is made for artists and makers. That's their whole slogan. So I think if you're an artist and you're trying to sell one-off pieces of art or different things like that, then Big Cartel might be a really good option. But if you're looking to sell your own product and you're really looking to build an e-commerce store, I honestly just don't think they have enough features. But I will say it's pretty easy to make a simple small store. And since your first five products are free, you can always test this one out, but I personally would never recommend this because they just don't have enough integrations, enough apps, and enough features for you to be able to scale your business. But for artists or makers, Big Cartel might be a good option. Another platform that a lot of people ask me about is Big Commerce. And Big Commerce used to be pretty decent. They have a lot of really good built-in features, but one of the big cons with Big Commerce is they have selling limits. If you sell more than $50,000 in a year, they start charging you extra fees, which is bonkers to me. I don't wanna to have to pay more because my business is doing well. That just doesn't make any sense. And in full honesty, Big Commerce is the same price as Shopify, but I think Shopify is way better. Now, before we talk about WooCommerce, which is the most popular e-commerce platform out there, though not necessarily the best e-commerce platform out there, we do have to talk about Magento. And Magento is one of those e-commerce platforms that used to be really popular. And the good thing about Magento is it's fully customizable, but that's really the only pro for Magento. The negative side of Magento is it's very technical, it's very hard to work with, and you're gonna need to hire a designer. Now, I get a lot of negative comments because I'm not a fan of Magento, but most of these comments come from 
developers in third world countries that wanna get hired to develop for Magento. But I don't know any e-commerce entrepreneurs that are still using Magento. I think it was something that used to be a good platform, but it's just not that good of a platform anymore. And that brings us to WooCommerce. Now, we still have three more platforms, Amazon, Etsy, and eBay, but WooCommerce is one of those platforms I get asked about all the time. And to be honest with you, I think it's actually a really good platform. Now, the first pro for WooCommerce is that it's free, kind of. Now, the truth is WooCommerce is a free plugin to WordPress. Now, to get hosting for a WordPress website does actually cost some money, but it's relatively inexpensive at around five to six dollars a month. I personally use and recommend SiteGround for my WooCommerce hosting, and there is a link in the description down below with like a huge discount if you do wanna go with SiteGround. And I did do a full comparison testing all the different hosting platforms and SiteGround won, that's why I put the link down below. So the first pro is that it's free. The next pro is that it's the most popular e-commerce platform. So there is a lot of plugins, but the reason it's the most popular e-commerce platform is because it's free. And the truth is it is relatively easy to set up a WooCommerce website. I did do a full tutorial explaining how to do that. I still think it's easier to set up a Shopify website versus a WooCommerce website, but it's pretty user friendly. But if you really want your website to look good and perform a lot of functions, you're probably gonna need to hire a designer or a developer to do some more of the technical stuff. Another issue with WooCommerce is that it's very piecemeal, meaning if you want added functionality, you're gonna have to pay for it. You're gonna have to pay for all the different apps and add-ons. So even though it's free, the costs do add up very quickly. And another con with WooCommerce is there can be security issues. There seems to be way more security issues with WooCommerce websites than Shopify websites. And this is because all the different apps and all the different integrations are a lot more vulnerable on a WordPress website than they are with Shopify. But still, overall, WooCommerce is a great platform. Now, I am gonna be announcing the winner for which e-commerce platform you should build your online store with in just a minute, but I wanna quickly go over the last three e-commerce platforms, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Now, the pros with all of these is they already have a lot of customers. When you're building your own website, it's actually very tough to get customers to your website. But the benefit of eBay, Amazon, and Etsy is they already have people that are going to their website every day. And so if you list your product on any of these platforms, you're more likely to get sales because people are already there looking for your product. But for cons for these platforms, they do usually have high fees. To sell on Amazon, they take 15% and even a little bit more if you use their FBA program, which I'll explain in just a minute. And for eBay and Etsy, the fees vary, but it's a decent chunk of your profit. They can also kick you off of their platform at any time. And that's the downside of selling on Amazon, eBay, or Etsy. It's not your website, it's not your platform. You're playing in someone else's sandbox, and if they wanna kick you out, they can. But I will say, out of these three platforms, Amazon is by far the most powerful. Amazon made up 50% of all e-commerce sales last year. Amazon is a $1.6 trillion company and they have millions upon millions of customers. And here's the crazy thing. Out of every sale that happens on Amazon, two thirds of them, 66%, are made by third-party sellers. That's people like you and me selling on the Amazon platform. And Amazon FBA is one of the best ways I know to build a legitimate passive income business. Because the thing with Amazon FBA is you send any product you're trying to sell into the Amazon warehouse. And when you get a sale, they pick it, pack it, and ship it out for you. Meaning you could be traveling the world or doing whatever you want. You don't have to be doing the shipping yourself. And Amazon FBA is how I grew my passive income business that's done over a million dollars in sales. And I, I did a video talking in depth about how I did that. But that leads us to the big question. So which of these platforms should you use? Should you go with Amazon or should you build your own website? And my answer is do both. I think Amazon is a great place to start and you can leverage all the opportunity that's there, but you're still gonna wanna build your own website because there's always a chance that Amazon kicks you off. And even if Amazon doesn't ever kick you off, it's just good to have an extra source of income. So that brings us to the whole point of this video, which e-commerce platform should you use? And if I had to narrow it down to just two, it would be either Shopify or WooCommerce. And they both have their own pros and cons. And which one you should use really depends about how serious you're gonna be about your online store. I'd say if you're looking to do over $10,000 a month in sales, go with Shopify. 
They're way more professional. It's way easier to set up. They have way more apps and integrations. And overall, it's just a really good platform. You really do get what you pay for. But on the other side, WooCommerce is great if money is tight. If you maybe just wanna build an online store just to test it out and you're not sure how serious you're gonna be. And the truth is you can always upgrade to Shopify later. And WooCommerce is a relatively beginner friendly platform, but you may need to learn a little bit of HTML or CSS to really get the full capabilities out of it. And as I mentioned with WooCommerce, you do have to pay for hosting but I've got the hookup. I've got a link up here and down below with discounted prices for you with SiteGround hosting, which is, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to host your WooCommerce website. I also have links up here and down below for Shopify, a free 14-day trial. And if you use any of my links down below in the description, I'll give you my condensed down e-commerce course for free. All you gotta do is use my links down below or up here. And if you're still unsure about WooCommerce or Shopify and which one you should use, I did a video right here that goes into depth and it'll help you decide which of these platforms is best for you. But my biggest piece of advice is get started today. This is such a prime opportunity to start an online store. People are starting to shop more and more online. And if you have a product that you wanna sell, you should get on it right now. So click on the links down below, start your online store today. Remember to enjoy the journey and to use my links down below, not only to get that discount, but to also get my e-commerce course for free. Thanks. Thanks for watching, okay. A lot of information I know. So, but what is your comment? What is your, what did you understand on this one? Uh -huh. It's no matter, it's no matter um, uh, you are the first company because you have stop goods and stop web. Okay, very good. Yeah, there are always pros and cons in all the platform in anything that you may want to do. So there are many things, okay, involved. Good, Susanna. Anybody else? Uh, teacher, uh, the video talk about the best platform, uh, but buy or sell product, they the companies at e-commerce. And uh, I think the best part of the pandemic was the development of online commerce uh, because the pandemic promoting uh, this style of buy or sell by online. Um, in the pandemic, uh, has more entrepreneurs were, were born mm -hmm. and before pandemic we have online sales but with the pandemic many many people too entering in this business that e-commerce not only not just the big companies to uh, a small business that is true so yeah a lot of people actually in El Salvador nowadays lot of people they are doing business online right in facebook uh, i mean in many ways in you can have your business in pedidos yeah in google i mean yes. it's not just for mcdonald's but if you are having yuca with chicharron you can sell that, that. <laughs> so that is possible this is very good good yes uh, the uh, i think that the best business development in the pandemic was a delivery service, delivery product, delivery uh, food. That is true in the pandemic. I mean, we needed a lot of things and that made a lot of opportunities for people. Very good. Yeah. Good, any other uh, opinion or? He was, he was talking about uh, different platforms. Uh, he was mentioned. Uh, uh, he was mentioned each 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 one. And for example, he mentioned that GoDaddy now it's overpriced, and it is a good website to buy uh, domains. Um, mentioned Wix. Uh, he said that it's not it's not it's not good for build e-commerce. A uh, big cartel, it's free. 
for the first time is made for the artists and makers. Um, and um, I don't understand. Uh, he mentioned something about Mag Magneto. I understand that it's, I don't know, fully customizable. I understand Magenta. that word. Yeah, Magenta. Yeah, that Magenta. Mm -hmm. Magenta. Uh, he was making emphasis in WooCommerce. It's free, it's the most popular, uh, it's the commerce platform, it's easy to set up. And um, what else? Um, oh, he was talking about Amazon. It's the more powerful company uh, to the e-commerce. And um, what else? Um, that's it. He was mentioning all the pros and cons about these companies. Okay, perfect. Thank you. A lot of information. Nice. Uh, when he says actually that it was fully customizable, customized is that you can do exactly what you want, the colors that you want, the size that you want, everything that you need. In other platforms, sometimes it's not possible. You have these templates and you can use only this. So in, in Magento, it's possible to do whatever you want. Good. Any other person? It's interesting the a lot of offers in United States of the platform related to the the e-commerce. E e yeah, that is true. I mean, nowadays is very powerful. I mean, I, I believe that even if you want to go and shop in the store in a physical store, the first thing that you do is to go to internet, right? To check if they have this size, the colors, the pricing, and then you decide to go to the store. So even if you don't purchase online, sometimes you go first online, identify what you need, if this is available, if it's good for you, and then you go to the store. And of course, a lot of people, they prefer just to click and purchase. Good. And also it's very increase, interesting. Go in, ahead. I think increase uh, for the pandemic uh, apps platform. The yeah. yeah, nowadays after yeah, if, through the pandemic and nowadays, well, this many, kind of business. many apps, many uh, apps. Uh, uh, I I use uh, uh, for example and um, on in Salvador, uh, uh, use more uh, uh, platform. That is true. Yeah, I mean, and that is another good thing I was going to tell you that, I mean, if you want, you can sell your things. You don't have to create your own website. You just go and speak in, in eBay, for example, you can upload pictures and the pricing and that's it. Yes. Or if you have okay, a store. I can... mm -hmm. I can expand in uh, for for other department on other country. That is true. I mean, if you want to sell, for example, if you uh, if you have even uh, uh, we were saying at the beginning, somebody said that you don't have to move, you don't have to change to online fully at the beginning. So you can do this. I mean, if you have an idea of a product that you want to sell, you can start by by putting some pictures in Amazon and wait. And if somebody starts to, to purchase, maybe that is an extra money for you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a good thing that you can have your job and also your hobby with this little product. So we never know. I mean, that might be the beginning of something nice. Good, good, yes, perfect. Very good. Nice. So we're gonna continue uh, here. I have something else. Reasons why you should start an online business. We're gonna go straight to the to the points. Let's see. Um, let's gonna start um, with Zulma. Could you please read number one? Hello, Zulma. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, it is fairly inexpensive to start. A lot of want to start a business, but are 
dictated by the investment required to get to get it off, off the ground. You have to pay for a lease, purchase inventory, and budget for employee salaries. What is your in, invest all the money in your business, but it, it doesn't work out? This can ruin you financially. Okay, perfect. So what did you understand on this one? Um, when you uh, start a business, you need consideration. You need to have consideration, many factors that, uh, that permit a start the business uh, for example the location or if you or if, if your product uh, can sell online you need to purchase a page for example or if you need uh, employees you need to have a budget for a salary or a I think you, you need to create a plan considering all factors that you need for a start. Definitely. So that's, uh, that's what we're checking on this one. I mean, sometimes you need to check into that one. And the first thing that we think about starting a new business is money. But to start is inexpensive. So that is a very good reason for you to start an online business. Let's continue with number one. Let's see. Uh, Rose, could you please continue? Okay. Um, however? Yeah, please. Yeah? Okay. However, with an online business, all you need is computer. You probably already have one. Domain name. You can get one for less than 10 for per year. Website builder. Monthly plans start from 29.9. 19 month. In other words, it's feasible to launch an online business with 100 as a starting capital. Of course, the more the starting money you have, the more online business ideas you can pursue. But the point is that you don't need to risk your life savings to become a successful online entrepreneur. Very good. What did you understand? Uh, all the, all the things that we need to start an online business is a computer, a domain name, a website, and, uh, and that, in other words, we, have, we need uh, $100 to start like a uh, starting capital. Um, and the more important, the ideas. Uh, that made our, our online business um, attractive and successful. That is true. So you have a good idea and you want to launch a website. I mean, the money is not that much, at least to start, okay, depending on the business that you want to run. But that is a good, a good thing, I mean, it's, it's something good for, for you to start. Very good. So number two says major potential and growth. Uh, Ana Selmi, could you please read the first, let's say three paragraphs. Uh, we can hear you. I'm sorry, teacher. No problem. When you have a brick and mortar business, you have to deal with the limitation of the real world. Renting in prime location is expensive. There may not be enough food traffic some days and the local crowd just doesn't need staff all the time. But guess what? When you run an online business, no one of this limitation apply. You can sell to anyone, no matter where they live. 
Good. What did you understand on this one? The uh, advantages, one advantage related to the e-commercial, e-commercial is uh, related to the, the, it's not necessarily the traffic of the clients in, in your store because your invent, inventory are in available for the market. Very good. Market. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's continue with, let's see. Um, who hasn't read? Well, everybody read already. Susana, please continue. And which is facing your, your pool of potential customer expands because more people are getting comfortable with the idea of online shopping. By 2023, e-commerce will account for 22% of global retail sales. On top, the global internet population is growing too. For example, between 20... Um, how 2009. 2009 and 22 and 20... 20? Yep. The number of our internet users in North America alone has grown by 33.3 million people. But that's nothing compared with the region that are still developing. The number of internet users in Asia went from 17, how do you say that? 764.4. 764.4 million to 2.5 billion, which means that an additional 1.26 billion people started using the internet. Very good. What did you understand on this one? I think this, this business have a many potential. And in this time, all people are very technology and it's, uh, it's not a surprise that if uh, in many years everything is, well, maybe it's, it's online. I think that. That is true. Actually, you mentioned something very important, potential. So if a lot of people are getting into internet, of course, a lot of customers are coming into internet. Definitely. Okay, number three says can run 27. Uh, let's see who's gonna read this one. Uh, Carla, could you please read this? Uh, number three, can run 24 seven. Another advantage online business have over brick and mortar business is that they can stay open 24 seven. Even through lockdown and their dis disruption. Once your online business website is online, you are always on the take a sales. Shoppers can order from you at any time. Since it seems that you don't need to be physically present to make a sale, your business can generate revenue with less day-to-day -day involvement. Very good. What did you get into this one? Uh, sales online is an advantage about the you have a storage because with the the real say uh, online you are available 24 7 day at the week That's you true. can you can sell at night a day in any moment very good so that is very interesting i mean the hard work is at the beginning when you create your website, when you put the pictures of the products, the pricing, that is the hard work. But after that one, you can go to the beach and you can continue selling. So that is a good thing, right? So very, very good. Okay, uh, we have a few minutes. Today is Friday and we're going to try to do free practice. 
is coming on Friday's night at the same channel. So who wants to start? Any volunteer? Anybody can do it. And what is the topic? Whatever you want to talk about. Do you have a topic in mind? Today in San Salvador, it has a mini traffic. Really? Why do you think that happened today? I mean, or you a teacher, or you traffic. <laughs> the people say, the people say because uh, today is here the president, the president of Mexico. Oh, okay. Mr. Amlo. That is true. And enclosed very enclosed many streets. Yeah, it's true. I remember that I piece of news. Uh -huh. True. I don't know it's true, but it's, it's very terrible. Yeah, I mean. I walk. Yes, it's true. Many yes, it's true. The, the, it was the reason the, the crazy traffic, the traffic for this day. <laughs> and it was uh, in, the, in the morning, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. All the day. All yeah. day long. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Because the today, time. the weather. Is it? Yes, rainy. It's rainy for the morning. Yeah, he was uh, raining yes. as well. So am I. So am I in the today traffic and the was rain? Was a special day. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, it, go ahead. T-shirt, uh, today was a special day because raining in the morning, big traffic, <laughs> the visit Mr. Anglo <laughs> was a terrible it's Friday. Day. Yeah. <laughs> but it was yeah, Friday. Yes, but, the, was but in the afternoon, the angle in the traffic was in the Sabo del Mundo because oh, because uh, we, we, went, we went away, we passed the Salvador del Mundo and the Constitution Boulevard was free. Okay. <laughs> I, I stay at home in 15 minutes, my car with my partner. All the people was tangled. Tangled, can I say tangled teacher? Yeah. Yeah, all the people was tangled in the Salvador del Mundo. All, oh my God, was terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, I guess that one of the problems that San Salvador has is that, I mean, there are bottle bottlenecks, you know, I mean, a lot of people are coming from a lot of places, but there are some points where you get stuck, right? And you want to go there, but you have to pass this point. So uh, that is the real problem. Uh, but as, as Rose says, sometimes you pass that point, and the rest is fine. It's like Los Chorros, like, I mean, if you go and come from Los Chorros to any other place, you go very nice, but you when you get there, there is no other street that you can take. It's only that street, so you are stuck there. So that is um, the real problem, I guess. And, and of course, when something special happened, like today, that some streets were closed, of course. The traffic is going to many explode. people, many people walking, walking, uh, try the the center San Salvador. Okay, downtown. Yeah, so I walk, I walk from Balanquite to Cafe de Don Pedro. Oh, really? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. So you say today I'm going to walk a little bit. I'm going to do some exercise and see the sky. <laughs> yeah, I know that that is tired. I mean, to walk on the street because you need to do some things. It's, it's not the same like, like a trip, right? <laughs> so... Uh, but uh, the, it was it was that piece of news in the in the morning. I mean, I, I remember that I read about that one, but not in the morning. 
But when you read something like that in the morning, you are prepared, right? You say, oh, I'm going to go this way tomorrow because something's going to happen. Uh, but did you see the piece of news early or it was not early? So you didn't know. So you were there in the traffic and saying, oh my God. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, but you, uh, in the morning, you didn't get wet with the rain. Yes, it's raining. But you didn't get wet, I mean. No, in my case, I am in the work when it starts raining. Okay, very good. In and my case, I was near, I was near my work when, it's, when it's, it comes to rain, but I have an umbrella. Oh. But also, I some uh, raindrops, raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> oh yeah. my <laughs> yeah, some raindrops uh, fall on, on, on my in my blouse, but I have an umbrella. <laughs> okay, so that was good. Yes. And when it's raining, do you feel very nice to be working, or do you prefer not to be working? Not working, not working. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm not working, teacher. Not I working. sleep. <laughs> the class, the class, um, it's bad when, when raining. I know we lost the heat of the light when raining. Okay, very good. Tomorrow we need to sleep more, but tomorrow the songs is going to be racing <laughs> yeah it's going to be shining yeah shining yes <laughs> and we need rain to sleep more <laughs> yeah probably will be good if, if it rains uh, yeah. if you don't go to work and tomorrow it's raining it's going to be on on sunday my on sunday rainy it's going to oh, be nice. very good right <laughs> eating yes. something watching some tv doing not that much or more snowy or cloudy? Snowy? Snow? Uh, cloudy. Cloudy. More snow cloudy in in planet renders for the morning. Okay. So yeah, and, and we need to check also uh, there in the cell phone about the weather, right? The problem is that it's not accurate. I sometimes I check because I have a motorcycle and I say I'm gonna go and ride a motorcycle, right? And I check the weather okay. and it says it's not gonna rain. And suddenly it rains. <laughs> so it's a it's a big problem sometimes. Problem with cycle, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't like to get wet on a motorbike because something might happen. But when it's raining and I'm walking, I'm I'm happy. I'm walking very happy there. Just for a while. Or, or in bus, it's no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but on, on the motorbike, some you know, some day I remember last year I was in my motorbike in like how can I tell you like six meters a lightning came into the into the earth, a thunder and lightning, you know, and I was like, my goodness. And, and it came, it, it fell in a tree. So it was very close. So since that day, I, I say I won't go out in the motorbike when it's raining because it's dangerous, right? It's not only that you can fall or a car can hit you or you can get wet and sucked, but also that was not good. So I, I didn't like that. Yes. And are you I'm, working? Who's working tomorrow? No, me neither. Nobody's working tomorrow. Me. I'm oh. going to work tomorrow. Yes. I'm Today sorry. is sorry for you. Me too. Today work. is my off, <laughs> and then on Sunday, Friday and Sunday are my off. Ah, uh, so but do you work all day long or just the morning? No, I have to work ten hours because I have today off. Yes. Nice. Since eight a.m. to six p.m. But. Tomorrow is going to be my short day, so I'm going to work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, but that is good. So, yeah, on yeah. Saturdays to go out early, at least that is nice, right? It's good. Yes, and, and Friday is good for me. I like it. Okay, yeah. very good. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, need to, 
They make it clean. I'm sorry? I work in my house, I clean. That is true, <laughs> you never stop, right? I mean, even when it's raining, yes. you stop a little moment, but then you need to go some, do some, I don't know, washing or do the cleaning, many in things. Yes. Drink coffee. Yeah, chocolate. I, when it's raining, I really, I really like chocolate. With with yeah. bread, you know, with French bread. Oh my goodness, that is. And bread, a piece of bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is very, very good. Okay, my friends, um, today is Friday, tomorrow, no class, right? On Monday, we're going to have class. On Tuesday, we are not going to have class, okay? Because so, I'm sorry? Uh, for day mother, yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why. So Tuesday, yeah. no. Monday, yes, please remember. And uh, well, I'm going to check the attendance, but be before that one, do you have any questions about the class of today? No teacher, no question, thank you. Very good. So, uh, somebody was going to say something, I don't know. Um, I can send some videos for the listen. Okay, yes, I can send the videos there yeah. on, on the chat on yeah. the group. Very good. Yes, yes, thank you. Good. Okay, let me then just check about the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Uh, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Uh, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present teacher, sorry. Okay, no problem. Y problems con la compu y internet. I know, I know. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Okay, so the one-on-one for today is for Guadalupe. And for the rest of the class, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you today and have a very nice weekend. Remember that um, you need to relax and try to think in English, right? So it's going to be good for you. It was okay. a pleasure, and uh, yeah, you have a question? No, no, it's just, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, yeah. perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure. Have a nice weekend and see you tomorrow. Not Thank tomorrow. No, 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 no. See you Monday. No, no, not Monday. Monday. No, no, no. See you Monday, teacher. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Happy weekend. Happy Enjoy weekend. your weekend. See you guys. Enjoy your weekend. See you, See you Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night.
Hello, Pamela.